to prove that Islam is pagan Arabian moon worship and that Allah, the God of Islam, is a pagan Arabian moon god. But first, I'm going to read from some scripture proving that moon worship is in fact sinful. 2 Kings 23, 5. And he put down the idolatrous priests, which the kings of Judah had ordained to burn incense in the high places in the cities of Judah, and in the places round about Jerusalem, them also that burn incense unto Baal, to the sun, and to the moon, and to the planets, and to all the host of heaven. So the burning incense to the moon is condemned. So moon worship is obviously sinful, it's wrong. We're going to show you some interesting pictures of mosques that have the crescent moon. I showed some of these pictures in my last video proving that the crescent moon of Islam is a pagan Arabian, Egyptian, Mesopotamian, Mesopotamian sorry, uh, symbol. We're going to show you some of these pictures again. Here is the first picture of this mosque in Mecca, uh, this big huge tower over top of Mecca, and they have the big crescent moon on top of there facing, the uh, part of it is facing upward. And that's very significant too, the part of the crescent moon facing upward like that. Uh, very significant as we go on. But you see that has a big symbol on top. Uh, the moon, the crescent moon symbol. This next picture, said in my last video, was pretty telling. I have the sun in between the crescent moon like that. Very, very telling. Uh, but again, the mosque with the big crescent moon symbol facing upward in that direction like that. The next picture, where again you see the sun kind of in the middle of the whole crescent moon, and again it's facing upward like that, facing uh, upward towards the uh, sky like that. And uh, most mosques have that picture like that too, by the way. Most mosques have a crescent moon like that. Well, guess who else has a crescent moon facing upward like that? There is a pagan Mesopotamian moon god that has that exact same upward facing symbol on a tower. You know? Very, very interesting. There is a Mesopotamian moon god. He even has it on his little crown too. He has that upward facing moon on a tower. So where do you think Islam got it from? They got it from pagan Arabian Mesopotamian religion. Here's another telling picture. It's of, again, you see the crescent moon symbol and they're facing upward like that. See, I told you it's significant that it's facing upward like that. And then you have Allah sitting on the chair and you have his three daughters giving basically alms to him, giving homage to him basically. Because yes, Allah does have in fact three daughters. Uh, because Allah was worshipped by the pagan Arabians long before Islam came on the scene. But see again, the pagan Arabian moon symbol is very telling and it's symbolizing Allah, the moon god. See, Allah is a pagan Arabian moon god. Just like you've seen that picture of the Mesopotamian god. Allah is not the God of the Bible. He's not the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, obviously. Uh, Allah was a God worshipped by the pagan Arabians before Islam came on the scene. And then Muhammad was simply a pagan Arabian who adopted the pagan practice, just like how Roman Catholicism adopted pagan Roman and Greek practices and Christianized them. Muhammad simply took pagan Arabian religion and repackaged it with Old Testament stuff. Basically, he uh, Old Testamentized, I guess you could say it that way, pagan Arabian religion, that's how you get Islam. See, Islam and Roman Catholicism are both pagan religion repackaged. Roman Catholicism is pagan Greco-Roman religion repackaged, and Islam is pagan Arabian, Egyptian, Mesopotamian religion repackaged. That's why a lot of their symbol, sim symbology goes back to paganism. So, Islam is obviously pagan, and Allah is obviously a pagan moon god. That's simple. Just like our Roman Catholicism is pagan Roman, Greek, Greek, Roman, Greco, Roman religion. I'll say it that way. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.